I've lost my like last four matches against lands, and almost every single one of them is my fault. Which is like tilting. McStrella, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. I mean, historically, in the, over the past year, I had like a 70%, 75% record against lands. Then they printed Valk Exploration, and it became way closer to 50-50. And it's just like, I'm, I'm just messing up in all of my lands matches. Like, there's always like an identifiable mistake. Um, so... If you're good against lands, you win against lands. I think it's a skill testing matchup, and I just like keep messing up. It's just really frustrating. Lands players will think goblins is a buy, but they're like just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. I wonder if I played. I wonder if I lost because I didn't play the pile driver in turn two. That would have given me enough damage. Hmm. Uh, weird. The fuck do I put back here? So I have the fetch or the eyelet. I really value having access to a basic. But it looks really weird to put my eyelet there. <laughs> okay. I just want to wasteland them, but I probably shouldn't. As a goif. I have a second goyf. Delver, I got bug delver, all right. Okay. Double war marshal's pretty good. I don't think I'm supposed to wasteland them. I don't think it actually does anything against Bug Delver. Interesting. Ooh. Rug Delver is probably fine. This could be a stifle incoming. Yep. Ah, uh, maybe we should have tested the stifle with the. Oh, they have two stifles. Okay. It's like kind of annoying, but they're down to two cards. Oh, that's a reason to waste. Oh, fuck off. Come on. 
Like the wasteland, my wasteland. The fuck. That's Bug Delver with her row. It's probably Arkans list. Um. Play this. That matron is really awkward and unfortunate. Oh my god, come on, dude. Even another fucking Tarmogoyf, you fucking kidding me. Yeah. Yeah. Sick jaws, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Double stifle, triple wasteland. Very skill intensive. Very skill intensive. All right, this is where Blood Moon is gonna just fucking murder them. Also, relics are really good against their deck. I could have played it. I mean, I could have played Pile Driver instead of walking into the Stifle. Yeah, I got Stone Rain four times. Whoop de fucking do. I just have to hedge for engineer a little bit. I think I want all the pile drivers. Maybe jump hall is not very good. Like, kind of weird to say though. I want jump hall. I'll shave one file driver. That's an irritating way to lose, though. Come on, deck. That sand's not good. I don't know, if I got the pile driver down earlier, maybe. Shuffle? All right, just going to wasteland him. I'll blast a cantrip. Yeah, buddy. It's tempting to play War Chief there. Awkward. Are you kidding me? Fucking believable. It's bullshit. Ah, oh, and a force. <laughs> cool.
I take a damage, but I think it's probably worth it. Land, 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 land. Fuck you, deck. All right, well, we're going to lose just shit mana, so. Fajal, Black Source, for Expert. Okay. It's very tempting to slam the War Chief, actually. Alright, we're gonna fucking be brave. Be brave, deck. Yeah. They fail to push. That kind of sucks. Yep. And again. Silent's absolutely murdering me, but... Okay, that was a good draw. Three, one, two, three, four, one short. I know they have Brainstorm. Supporting doesn't really do anything. I don't think they have Force of Will. So I'll do this while Stifle is no longer in play. Um, I mean, I might get Engineered next turn. I guess I get Crater Maker for that reason. I get Pashlik Mons. Kill the Delver. All right. Yeah, we might might be doing it. Really? Uh, game two. Lost game one to uh, double stifle, triple wasteland. Tilt. Hmm. All right, so we go, I don't know, do I port them? Hold off engineer? They're not playing Tomb Stalker. <laughs> I'm definitely porting this if I'm porting, but I don't know that I'm porting. I might just go Skirk plus Matron and then 
War Marshal plus Expert can kill the Goyf next turn. I've been playing around Stifle this whole game. <sighs> I could also just go War Marshal, Wirt, uh, seize all my mana efficiently. I die, I die. I could just get Sling Gang here. I think I'm gonna get plagued. Hmm. I don't think they're that much removal. Ooh, play good to dear blue. Should have fucking ported them. I don't think I play this match very well. Land would have been infinitely better. Because now I lose to Stifle. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't like how I played that game or that match. I lost, I lost game one to my uh, decisions. To fetch into the stifle for no reason. I should just played my two drop and let them hold up their stifle for no value. All right, this seems fine. And then game two there, I. I mean, I drew like shit for a really long time. And they found the removal. Oh my god, fucking thoughtsies, man. There's one thing I don't like about this new format is I I'm sick of all the discard spells already. I mean, I'm gonna fucking fetch around Stifle, I guess. If I'd drawn a Relic at any point during that game, they would have just had no offense. Or my Veil Summers? Yeah. I mean, I was playing green for Veil for a little bit, just because I, I really dislike... I mean, I, I hate, I fucking hate him to Turok. I hate him to Turok with a blazing fucking passion. I think that card's utter bullshit. But I also think people can punish the fuck out of it with Veil vale Summer, which is very good. Okay. Pretty good. So we're playing this Grixis Shadow. Maybe I should, eh, if I expert that, it just gets dazed like 5,000%. The fuck is this? That was good. It's power and toughness are equal to. 20 minus the highest life total among players. Okay. 
yeah, Jund with Mass Vandal, and yeah, that's exactly what I've been doing, actually. All right. You got snuff out, you got snuff out. I think I take this. Creatures get bigger. I guess they have Bolt as a reason not to take it. They actually have Reach, unlike Normal Shot. Normal Shot, you can go to like two and it doesn't matter. Weird that they're doing this. They're still looking for a bolt. Play Battle Rage? That would be pretty fucking bad for me. What? Huh? Okay. I've never seen Battle Region Legacy. Nice meme. Ten ten, huh? I don't hate getting war cheese here because then I can uh um ring leader around a daze. Like pretty bad against some real discard spell though. Yeah, sling gang. It's just really bad against wasteland. Got one black source in play. Why is War Marshal on the way to survive? I can just block with the Matron this turn. If they remove it, then I put in the Pile Dryer. It's not the big deal. Um, yeah, I'm looking at Pash Lake, actually. I like that. How do you navigate Goblin's Mirror Match? Don't let Lackey connect. <laughs> like, blow up Vials. Don't let Lackey connect. It's a terrifying brainstorm. Yeah, also put Muxus in play first. That's also a good one. Yeah, this this plus four lands is uh, quite a blocking machine. <laughs> okay. No battle rage. Three three shadow and a delver. It's a lot of things. Okay. Um I could just Activate Pashlik now, kill the Delver, make two 1-1s, one or I could cast Rain Leader. I think Pashlik's actually a little bit better. I can file on the Ring Leader next turn. Worst first discard spells, but no point in attacking. But I want to get that Delver out of here. Also, if they kill my Pashlik, then I kill the Expert for free. It's worth something.
I double chump their shadows. Block, block. Ping, ping. Yeah, probably. All right, that point is off the table. Three dies to single block? No. Steal one, deal two. All right, so just attack it like this. It's the easiest block ever. Okay. Don't want to take that much. Oh, right. Yeah, I could have blocked. With... All right, I took one for no reason. <laughs> that was not great. My attention span's dropping off two and a half hours. Yep. Oh, please don't fucking thought seize me. Please don't fucking thought seize me. Please, no. All right, I was playing around reanimate on expert. <laughs> playing around it. I would actually have been so bad. <laughs> All right, ringleader. Let's go. I have no cards. Freighter maker, pile driver. Okay. I think. I think I get to attack with both play Crater Maker and then upkeep sack ringleader yeah off three blockers of zero cards yeah okay I guess I play pile driver yeah, that's more threatening. Go face. It's an interesting proposition. It's really bad if they find a way to kill the Pashlik, though. Delver doesn't matter. So I put them to three. Yeah, I see what you're saying, little Nell. I don't want them to get the the scry with the Delver. Oh, right, they get the scry anyway, yeah. They just did it wrong. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So I fucked up, but they also fucked up. Nice. Uh, I like that it changes. All right, getting game one's really important. Getting game one is very important, because now they have plague. Um, all right, this. I feel like Bloodman's a good way to punk them out of a game. Playing multiple reanimates. Oh, any pyrokinesis? Oh, what are we? What are we cutting? We're cutting squad. Playing trash master. I like having grab just an extra way to beat force and uh, kill delvers.
I, I do want to stay pretty creature dense because of all the discard spells. One prospector or one lackey? Probably lackey. Very light sideboarding. I'm not sure what's correct. Okay, it's only going to six and it's fine. Double cavern's good, so roll to five. Okay. Oh, they just play a Delver and we just get blasted. Taking the matron's kind of annoying, but. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't even know if I play that. Because of Snuff Out, it lets them lose life really fast. Would I blast a Brainstorm? Yes. Okay. I just want to do nothing. Because also there's a decent chance that if I play the Skirk, I just get plagued. Because Mold into 5, go for Thoughtseize into Plague is something that I think people will do. Ah, okay. Good 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 call, Luna. Okay. So they have days. But I just let this go. This is just like 5,000% days, right? I'll save it for a Delver. Yeah, this, this could also be a bad brainstorm. No fetch land. Yeah, it could be a bluff for sure. Shadow. Oh. Okay. I guess this is the game we're playing now. I guess I'll avoid playing my Badlands when possible. So what card could this red be? Because that does not look great. Could be a chain roller. I don't want that against reanimate. Could board in a relic. Going to three. Going to three is scary for them, right? Big thing. Pish. E. -E. Okay. E seems really weird in their deck.
How many times have I cast a jump bomb? Fair number. Yeah, we bone crusher them. <laughs> GG. Can't push it. <laughs> I have dealt zero damage to my opponent. <laughs> I literally dealt zero damage to them. <laughs> can't snuff out it, can't fatal push it, can't dismember it. Pretty fucking funny. <laughs> dark blast. Yeah, if they got if they got dark blast, they got dark blast. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm happy. I'm happy with what I did there. Still a little annoyed how I lost my two losses. I think. The game one against lands was very avoidable. Just by playing the wasteland. And then game two, I just kind of mulligan to five and I could have played the pile driver in turn two. It was another uh decision. I'm more okay with how I played the game two. And the Bug Delver match. I think I had the read on Stifle and then just didn't play around it. Alright, I'd like to win a die roll sometime this year, but this is... <laughs> Mono uncastables, but... Like, these four cards are really, really good, so... I look not, yeah. Well, I mean, at least it's a red source. Like, imagine if this was a colorless line, this might be much worse. Alright, um, lead on port, wasteland, or I think I'd lead on, I think I'd lead on wasteland, because of the counter this and I can go wasteland plus lackey. Force, pitch, brainstorm, alright. Why is Sunbake Canyon better? Swamp. I feel like my puns about they're gonna cast Tarmogoyf or they're gonna cast Doomsday. Baleful Strix? Alright. Crixus Control, I guess. Ringleader's not bad. Honestly, maybe supposed to port them here. Bug. Okay. Come on, Electromancer. Hell yeah. Um, Alright, well, our hand's real clunky. Okay. So I'll jump Palm Incinerator. I think I port Swamp. That's not bad. I missed a land. Hmm. Trash Master has some appeal, because then it's just like puts the Strix dead on board. Also, ringleader is good. I 
No ringleader. That's close, though. I think I have days in doing. I don't think so. If they do, fuck me, I guess. Pile driver, lackey. Not the best. Do I trade with the Strix? I don't really want to when I have Trash Master in my hand. If they get me with the cheese, days and doing, I guess it's my fault for not playing Crater Maker. But I feel pretty set up to beat what they probably have going on. Pay eight, okay. Wait, pay eight doesn't make any sense, right? When you just are drop wheeling? Isn't that just totally illogical? Let's turn off this. Okay. I guess I didn't have to concede, but I don't really feel like playing after that happens. Um, well that was really stupid. I just played the Crater Maker. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, whatever. So bug control. Thorn could be good, could be bad. Like Thorn making abrupt decay cost three is like kind of sick. Just like all their interaction becoming clunky is nice. Making days into it cost four is nice. Um, I don't know if I can fit it though. I should just killed it because it's like I mean I have a really good hand for a fair game, so I just need to not lose to that. Ugh, frustrating. Um, I don't know. Powder seems insane. What do I cut? On the play, I think I want two lackeys. Let me just shave the last prospector. Maybe cut a wasteland. I saw all basic last game. Could also go to two rebs. I think rebs gonna be really good though. I'll shape wasteland. Pog. All right, you're getting wastelanded. Interesting. Hmm. All right, do another two. That's kind of cool. Second thoughts, he's sure. Uh, okay, so the sixty-one thing has to do—it has to do with ringleader numbers. Um, I should just like write a paragraph at some point about it, just like a brief version. So I do get asked it a lot. It's about post-board ringleader numbers. One sixty, you end up too low when you side in cards. I play 65. All right, double thoughts. He's pretty good. 
Aha, top deck matron, also pretty good. If they abrupt get here, that'll fucking suck. I think for that reason I am supposed to put in two drop. They totally have decay. Hopefully it's Assassin's Trophy. They should not let this file untap. Like if they have decay, they should have done it when the file was tapped. In case I drew another two drop. Okay. Port pog. I could have gone for War Chief there. Hmm. And the 61 card genius. Hit <laughs> me. Yeah, that article's a good good one. Um I should end stay at three for now, actually. Oh, I should have filed the Chief. Whatever. Let's kind of waste their mana. I'm trying to set up to beat a uh, plague with the jump on. Like the way they're playing, just screams plague, right? No, Zero? All right, hopefully I don't have another Fatal Push. Hmm. Hmm. I think I go for blast on the arrow. I'm just not going to port. Because if they bring back Uro and I blast it and they have force, then Matron for Sling Gang kills them, I think. Alright, cool. Two forests, two basics, alright. Nice. Alright. Faded the Abrupt Decay. Um, I could see boarding in Caracas as another land. Oh, and I want Relic. Um... Squad might be too tricky on the draw. Cut the last two lackeys. No one drop goblins. Feels kind of bad. Chamberlain's good for Strix. 
And it's like generally a good pressuring card, but it's hard to cast. Maybe Wasteland's better than Caracas. I don't think I want to Wasteland them that aggressively, though. This is different for me. I'm, you know what? We're going to try this for science and see what happens. No one-drop goblins. I guess I'm supposed to keep this. This is a pretty weak hand versus plague. Spock just a bluff counter magic. Oh, nice. That was good. It's a. Uh, it's not a Valk. This is just because it's a red cycle thing. Should I play Islet first? Why? We haven't seen Wasteland from them. I don't think they're playing Wasteland. They're playing a lot of basics and a lot of tools. I gotta, I gotta write something about 61 cards. People keep asking. <laughs> Yeah, always room for one more. <laughs> Why not 62? Because I don't, it's not a 60 second card I want. Diminishing returns. Pod's in like a weird spot, I'm sure. I do feel vulnerable to plague unless I draw a crater or bone crusher. Take ringleader. Okay, so they're they're planning for the long game. Okay, it's potentially good. I'm just gonna port them. I just wanna slow the game down. <laughs> Use a play set of boil. <laughs> like a cling to dust? Okay. They don't know I drew this wasteland, so. Southern Library would kind of suck. Strix is fine. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Gideon, that is not necessarily true because there is no objective best or worst card all the time right cards are be good variability hope their blue sort hit their blue source cards have variability across matchups um all right i'm down to do luna's line I don't think the toolbox argument is as good, but I do think it comes down to ringleader numbers in a lot of ways. Ah, here's Plague. Bone Crusher one time. I don't know. I'm not thrilled about my line there. I'm like kind of behind now. They fucking feel to the dead? What the shit? I think I probably should have just played Matron. Because I'll probably lose to this fucking thing. Uh, 
Oh, God, these lands. Yeah, uh, Wastelanding ended up being giga bad. Like, incredibly bad. Get two cards. What if I just let this go? Lastly of old, then Crater Maker. Uh, yeah, if I lose this game, it's because of that wasteland. Well, I yeah, I, I'm not gonna. I, I would just take the damage and then untap. Is what I was thinking. I really regret that wasteland. Okay. Cut them off green or cut them off blue. It's also double black. Silent is kind of murdering me. Well, these red blasts were definitely better than one drop goblins. There's that. So I'm at 10. Okay. Yeah, I've done a little that's true. Could be Uro. Ugh, relic one time. So they've green, green like that, blue, blue like that, top, bottom. Not what I was looking for. I feel like I'm just stuck. I just... Like, how am I supposed to win? Like, we have, it feels like we have all the tools, but we're just like one mana. We're just like tempo behind. I think, I think I used the mana denial poorly. This game's hard. Like, I needed to just play to the board a little bit more.
have to like get them to whiff somehow for a turn and then draw a relic. Yeah. Yeah, I think I lost that game because of myself. <laughs> I think the, the Wasteland plus Mogwar Marshal line was just, like, pretty bad. Uh, Reaple, great. Oh, wait, why the fuck did I keep this hand? I guess Double Wasteland maybe does stuff, but he's just going to turn on me, so it doesn't really matter. I think I've beaten all the bug pile decks I've played so far. I'm just not used to playing against that kind of thing yet, you know? Playing Esper Miracles? Oh. Nope. Here's where I die, here's where I die. Mm-hmm. Dark Ritual. Curse. Ooh. Yeah, this matchup's kind of really stupid. Um... Plays three Plague Engineers. Yeah, there's there's literally zero interaction that's relevant in this like in this matchup. Oh, I need one more card. Um. Yeah, we're in Parkinesis. Because of um Yeah, this matchup's really I mean, it's 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 pure like Does he draw a curse of curse of misfortunes or not? That's literally and like dark rituals. Like that's literally the only thing that matters. Do I lack Ian Demoxis him? I shouldn't have kept my hand, I should have just molten the nuts. That's all that's all that's what you do. You just mold in the nuts. It is maybe the least interactive matchup matchup in all of Legacy. It's it, well, it's probably it's probably not like the Belcher Mirror, but like it's it's really really bad. <sighs> Come on, Sam, be great if I had to land. <sighs> Come on, deck. I guess I'll keep it. Do I keep it? All right, two lackeys. I'm fairly confident this was just Mulligan to lackey on the play. Of course, I'll go like Dark Ritual Plague Engineer. I'll, I'll concede. I absolutely hate playing it. Like I, I, I don't even want to play it out. <laughs> I hate this deck. <laughs> Definitely could have won that last match though. Um, girls of brand decks, they will. Whoa, all right. They'll like reanimate. Well, either the current builds, they um, play Children of Corliss. Cool. Skill game right here. 
<sighs> they'll, they'll draw their whole deck and then tendrils you. Do I try to Blood Moon him? Like, how many basics does he play? Nah, it's gotta be too loose. Sire of Insanity, I don't think is playable anymore. But, oh jeez, alright. Mulligan to Oblivion. Oh my god, if he plays Opposition Agent, I'm going to flip. Flip. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sire's pretty bad. <laughs> if I get one lackey connection, maybe we're okay. Imprint Dark Ritual. Oh, Ah, cool! Yay! Yay! Yeah, this matchup's really stupid. <laughs> I should have mulliganed the... Uh, like, the, the Hannah Captain game one was abysmal. I should have just absolutely mulliganed. Like, if I have Lackey into port, I probably win game one. <laughs> Such a stupid matchup. It's It's like... Such a waste of time. <laughs> you you can just you could, like if Moto had a reveal hand function, like we would just reveal hands to each other, and then like whoever has a better hand concedes, like or the other person concedes, like it's it's that simple. There's zero play to it. All right, four four zero oh into <laughs> one three, great. I don't know. I, I think the last match was like I did some things for science and they like kind of worked out. I don't know. Opponents 3 Great. Okay. I have not won a single die roll. I, no, I won the die roll last round. It didn't matter because <laughs> I didn't mulligan aggressively enough. I don't understand playing Curse Stompy. I know he loves it, but like the, the deck just seems it's like just pure cheese. <laughs> Ah. Ooh, okay. All right, if my opponent plays Athalia, they die. Man! They have triple Mother Runes? Well, guess we'll find out. That's not a bad draw. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not the most interesting match. <laughs> I suppose my black source is a little scary, but oh, I should play. Oh no, no, fuck! What am I doing? I should have just played the matron. Oh my god, I'm absolutely an idiot. What am I doing? What am I doing, chat? That <laughs> was so bad. All right, I'm I'm losing focus. So I gotta stop soon. I'm just like not using my brain whatsoever. Okay. Name six. All right, that's the correct number. How did I tell Thurnom? Because if they had only two moms, they would have just uh, um, played. 
They would have filed in the other one, right? All right, I think we're just muxusing them. I don't know, maybe just Crater Maker. But I play Skirk. It's enough. The removal spell. Yeah. Alright. They clearly don't have a waste to report yet. Oh, they have Jailer. Oh. Oh, it's like the worst thing possible for me. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Um... Bam, bam, bam. One, two, three. Okay, no, we're still good. I do have to sack my Skirk, though. Ooh, nope. Actually, I got it. All right, Muxus. Okay. Kind of sucks I lose my Crater Maker. The third mom's kind of killing us. You can get the monarch back, though. Their vial doesn't do anything. Okay. Holy shit, come on. <laughs> Seriously? Well, I guess we're matroning for trash, man. Oh, I got batter skull? Sure. Land. Okay, it's not a red source, but it's a land. So, one, two, three, okay. So, God, another black source would have been really good. So we get them to use the mom here, or we get the monarch.
All right. Should be okay from here. A lot of things went wrong, but it should be okay. We'll take six. Oh, they're probably paying off of things. We'll take five, or take four, take four. Taking four is fine. Considering we have Sling Gang in our hand. Another red source would be really, really good though, because then I can go Trash Master plus Expert. Okay. Whoa. I'm playing fucking Sarah Avenger. Red source, god damn it. God damn it. <sighs> I should have ported them. Fuck. Is it four moms? Three. Three moms. <laughs> this can't be so much easier if we had one more red source. Because we could just, we've never been able to go like a war chief plus thing. This war chief's in play, life's so much easier. Yeah, plow. It'd be rough. But if they plow, they lose. They can't batter skull this turn, which is something. And they still lose the sword. I haven't seen fucking Sarah Venture in a million years. Yeah, it used to be. It used to be staple, but card has not aged well. Prelates on six. Playing my main deck pyrokinesis. Like if we had another resource, I'd be able to expert the stone forge and then they have to choose whether or not to put the batter skull into play. Actually, no no no, I'd probably just go War Chief plus Trash Master. Opponent, you gonna do something? Hmm. If they plow Trash Master, I sack. Yeah, Batter Skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can port them off equipping the Batter Skull. Unless they have another land. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. That's priority. What? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. I guess they don't have plow. They definitely should not have exposed the, the batter skull. Uh, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense. So now, kill this and go ringleader expert probably. They drew a lot of planes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That is th multiple Sarah Avengers. All right. Um, yeah, they are zero and three. Get a lackey back. Draw a card. It's a matron. A blob is violent too. They appear to be very dead. Forest become a mess. <laughs> hmm. Good line. Good line. Uh huh. Oh, I should have sacked the lackey. Lackey doesn't do anything. Whatever. Slang gang puts him down on the spot, so. <laughs> you can see that mathematically you're boned. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's that black source. All right. Pyrokinesis. This, this, this. It's not Sarah Avengers.
So I guess with multiple Sarah Avenger, we got to think about attacking into a Bion 2 a little bit harder. And we've got to be careful with how we use Expert in particular. Because we've got Pashlik and Whirler and Bone Crusher, Jump Home to kill the smaller stuff. <laughs> you say that is magic that you cannot <laughs> recite Pi <five> backwards. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is really funny. It's neat. We've got good mana. File on Crater Maker, Warchief Sling Gang for later. We'll go to six. Feels good. Dxion. Dxion, thanks for the follow. Turn one either vowel. I've not really seen the new cards, so. Cavern of Souls. <laughs> really? This is the game we're playing? All right. I really like this vial, actually. Let's see if we beat Absolute Law. Yeah, this is like a ridiculous card to play when... The format is what it is. It just doesn't make sense. Alright, well, the win condition is Sling Gang. What's your two drop? <laughs> Alright. Gotta blow up that vial, stop him from casting things. This is like very annoying though. I can like literally never attack. Yo, come on, really? Probably Tivadar's Crusade. <laughs> All right, we gotta draw really hot to get out of this. We're taking four turn, we can't block. I can <laughs> turn to absolute law. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh huh. You you need oh and a wasteland. Wow. Yeah, their hands just absolute fucking nuts. All right. All right, we gotta find our trash man. Nope, more lands. Cool, 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 cool. Opponent probably feels real proud of themselves. Why don't you put that in the Vigilant thing? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Flash fires. <laughs> All right, we have to draw something truly outrageous to win. Um, I guess we'll go Vi up to five, try to find Muxus. I'm just dead next turn, right? Until... I guess we're not dead. We could hit our second sling gang. Oh, we can block with sling gang as well. Okay, Muxus is on the table next turn.
<laughs> got me fucking kidding. Oh my god. All right, so this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I gotta sack everything. It's actually like so bad that we drew our Muxus, or drew our other war chief. I think it was the Gobble Eleven, the Strixhaven. Ah, oh, cool port. All right. Um, I don't know. <laughs> They're playing two absolute laws. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. What is wrong with your brain? Wait, I can't go War Chief, right? Because I'm at two. Still. <laughs> Who hurt you? Oh my god. All right. Go to one, hit some Skirk craziness. Pashlik Sling. Mm, that ain't it. I can't believe I queued into the guy playing fucking double absolute law. <laughs> it's just a joke. Oh, it's just a joke. Um. Sure. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna bring in your squad because it's black, and we can take the absolute laws. Probably a four of yeah. This hand's kind of bad. Yeah, it's just like lackey is just never, never happening. I wonder if I'm supposed to board out some. Bone Crusher gets around absolute law. You can you can Bone Crusher their face, and then uh, their creatures will die in combat. Creator maker, creator maker. Uh, to wasteland or not to wasteland? Probably wasteland. I would love to ring leader next turn. Yeah, and it gets protection. Yep. Play a thing. Not absolute law. Play play a creature. All right, we're gonna bait containment priest here. No, okay. No, mom. Yo, come on. Really? <sighs> Man, wasteland of them really did not work, huh? All right, we're putting a 4-3. Maybe they vote for it. 
Damn. Land, please. Fetch land, I think. It's best land. All right. All righty. I guess I can't attack with ringleader because of the fucking multiple Avengers they've got going on. Okay, that was a pretty shit ringleader. Unfortunately. That's just a beefy boy. Yep. Oh, I could have attacked. Bummer. Got batter skull. Yeah, I, I really... There's no justification for playing two absolute laws. This is just zero. <laughs> There's a mom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pun it oh three for a reason, right? All right. Um. Matron's a good draw, but it's like I want to get the. Mom away. Yeah, per yeah. Questing beats. Quest questing beast beats protection. That's correct. I've tried bone crusher with the germ. Yes. I think so. Oh, I should've done the sense step because of flick rest, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> God, why am I so bad? Oh my God, why am I so bad? <laughs> Fucking tilt. So bad. It was so bad. Oh, I cannot. I cannot play for this long and play well. I just fucking. Yep. Now they put better skill in the thing. Oh my God, what am I doing? That's like such an egregious play. Fucking pissed at myself. All right. Oh, shit, they have important play. I'm stupid. I should just get Trash Master. Actually, no, I, I die if I get Trash Master. Never mind. Fucking whatever. Cool. Have the most. All the shit in the universe. Very cool. Wow, I just lost the worst DNT deck I've ever seen in my life. 1 4. 4 0. 4 1 into 1 4. Oh my god. I mean, I, play, I played pretty badly this match. I played 
badly. Like, all my losses were to either ludicrous shit, like double absolute law, or, and like, people, multiple Sarah Avengers, garbage. It was just a garbage deck I lost to. It feels really bad. Ugh, that was a really frustrating league. I think Wastelanding was bad. Turn I Wastelanded as well. I just should just play my land and gone for a ringleader in the next turn. Yeah, I feel like I got just fucking memed on 90% of the time. I do want to keep playing because, like, that's just a shit way to end. But I'm also, like, losing my focus and playing badly. All right, I'm going to the bathroom and decide. Be right back.
All right. I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to twiddle with the list a little bit. I want another answer to play Genshin here. here. Try Tarfire. Um... I'm not convinced this Caracas. This one I let put minus two top end? No. Well, it's been okay, but it's also been like bad at times. I kind of want to play Grenzo. Looks like Caracas hasn't been doing anything. Can't remember the last time I actually Caracas something. Should have a pile driver. Butter has been good, but like. Grenzo plus zero fascist for later. Let's try Grenzo. It's really good against him decks. I take a vow crocus only face steps, yeah. Yeah. This thing it's like when you have two crocus, you can like kind of play to it. When you only have one, it's just like it's good, but it's hard to get, you know. Mm. It's kind of awkward, but it's like all the one ofs kind of the wrong place, wrong time. I think this is that's lands. God damn! I every single lands opponent I play against this turn one exploration, literally every single one. <laughs> it's kind of infuriating. All right, double wasteland. Don't turn to me, please. Something, something, Krakus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. I guess I lose their exploration, but then I can't cast any spell in my hand. Draw red source eventually. Maybe they don't have a land. And their land stack. I've also lost the die roll again. Loam for nothing. Huh. Okay. They really don't want to bless, so no. Lucky, 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 lucky. Brenda Straw. Oh, fuck, I should have fucking wastelanded. Oh my god, I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, but if they them back, they can't. Uh... Okay. OK. 
got basics. Yeah, we'll cycle. Shit like this is why force negation is a good thing. Because this is legitimately pretty stupid. Ah uh, yes, the second vial, when they can recur a blast zone and activate it every turn, just what we needed. Uh... What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? All right, well. Um, okay. Yeah, gamer champ. Yep. <laughs> okay, so if we Grenzo into I don't know. I'm so glad Arcanus is gone. Holy shit. Wow, they're really trying to ghost quarter me out. Which they can do soon. Got one basic left. I guess this is a reason to run four. Um, four mountains, people ghost quarter locking you. Are you seriously going to do it again? Okay, Matron gives us a shot. Exile to Dark Depths, that's actually not bad. Um... We're pretty locked out, yeah. So pop this and we have to kill them really quickly. Alright, they all right, they hit double stage. So if we didn't exile that depth, we would have been fucking dead. What's the fastest way to kill them? We can make sure for Skirk. That's not going to last long, though. We could get Warchief. We have to Fate Tabernacle. All right, they're not GQing me. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Vile. I don't know if it matters. I could get Sling Gang. Sling Gang into Trash Mask, sure. I wonder if holding the vial killed me. Like it doesn't do anything, they can just blast zone. This vows on zero. Um If 
we get War Chief. War Chief just, just it doesn't hit as hard as Trash Master. Should I just get a two drop then? Because if we draw land, we can cast it. Let's get Pile Driver. Kind of weird. War Chief top deck lackey. Yeah, War Chief. I, I want to get this vial to four though. I'm at 25, so like Sling Gang is not that important. I wonder if they have P Fire. No, I think their hand is all lands. Or not. Yo, come on, really? What the fuck? <laughs> Where did that come from? Right, so we have to draw a land. Yeah, like, this is kind of why I think Turbo Muxus is better. Alright, we drew a land at least. Like, we, our ham is just not fast. Exile Catacombs. And a Mox Diamond. Great. Oh, hit tab. All right. Whatever. God, I fucking hate losing to lands. I hate, I hate it, 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 I hate it so fucking much. Uh, all right. No, they they have Ghost Quarter Lock and Tabernacle. There's... Oh, thank you. Um, let's cut all the experts. I have Tarfire and Bone Crusher for Reclaimers. It's just really frustrating to lose against because it's just like you're always like so close to killing them, and it's and it's like if you make a mistake, you die. And the way you lose is really stupid. Like it's just like actually good information they didn't get last game is how many basics we play. They didn't fully ghost quarter lock me. And I just, I just hate how polar the deck is with exploration or not exploration. Like, imagine if they didn't draw exploration that game, right? If they didn't have turn one exploration, they don't do fucking anything. They don't do anything that game. It's like, it's like the vile decks with vile, but even more extreme. So our game plan is going to be either Lackey muxes them to death, find our Blood Moon, or... I mean, War Chief Piledriver stuff can sometimes get there. Yeah, I also kind of... Like, Mana Bond's insane. I guess it's a lot worse. They're actually playing a lot of spells nowadays, like Valkyrie Exploration. Like, it's almost an Enchantress deck at this point. <laughs> Classic. Okay, I guess. Feels bad though. 
Like, we've got the Relic, we got the Vile, which is good. Sling Dane's one of our better creatures, but two land, one of them's non basic. It's just like, uh, blow up your Vile, kill you. Well, I do have Force of Air. Max Diamond, Exploration, Land, Land, Port, You. Oh, okay. That's the start that Relic is really fucking good against. Oh, fuck, I did that wrong. Should have played my land, should have played my land. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was egregious to not play my land because they force vigored me. I just fucking die. <laughs> oh my god, I have to play better. Balakut. Yep. Don't tell me you force figure now. Okay, power driver is decent. I think in 2020, then I do, I can still live if I draw land. I'm oh, doing this for fetches, okay. Croxa, okay. More relic value. Sylvan. Probably play Sylvan. <laughs> Wacky. Okay, at least it's a land so we can war chief. That's a fucking tilt though. Get those two. That's escape five, though. Made him for five. Second sling gang. Either very good or very bad. Fucking null rod. That shuts off their mox diamond, at least. I didn't think about that. Oh my god. It's all crop rotations all day. And a stage. And a depths. Cool. <laughs> you are fucking kidding me. You are fucking kidding me. Unreal. Un fucking believable. <laughs> Un fucking believable. That's so lucky. All right, let's draw lucky. Gotta draw Lackey. Okay, that might give us the outs we need. I 
cannot fucking believe. Oh wait, they don't have. They can't. They can't depth me. Their mark time is turned off. We're fine. Right? Yeah. <laughs> wait, we're fine. They're dead. Oh shit, I shouldn't have paid for the pile driver. Oops. <laughs> now we just sack. If if they can do the thing, then we just sack pile to replacing. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a what a fucking <laughs> Oh my god. It's like we died to the null rod and then they died to their own null rod. That game is like hard to process how like silly it was. Low rod swings in both directions, indeed. I wonder if they board out the null rod now. God, I want to win this so bad. <laughs> I want to win this really, really bad. Collector if, is um, two sided, surprisingly. Uh, all right. We have relic in a wasteland. It's the basic, at least two basics. It's not aggressive, but I don't think you can mulligan this. Exploration. Oh yeah. Uh yeah. Uh yeah. I'll just hold the relic. Alica, yay! Ooh. Okay, we get to eat the loam. That's really good. It's really good. All right. No lands. So what does that mean? Removal? Don't want to... Tap out of the relic. Maybe like Croxa. Okay. Drawing a lot of lands is really good. Do I go for a squad attempt? Let's go Prospector, go for the Muxus. Go Prospector, go for the Muxus. Like Prospector's just good in the matchup in general and enables us to actually throw a bunch of stuff onto the board real quick. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um... I 
Do I pop this relic? Mm. No. Which because I shouldn't have tapped it. Okay. Um, so if I go, it's kind of interesting to waste a grove here. I think if they had crop rotation, they would have used it to get triggers. Yeah. Okay. And then we go. Blacky. File. This game just got really funky. It's pretty scary. Ugh. So they have E fire in hand. Hmm. I have to discard one of these two. Sling Gang's really important. Pashlik is a one of. This is not. I think it's the patch lake. Feels pretty bad though. Right, so last card's P fire.
I don't know if I sack the Skirk or I sack the Lackey. If I hit a War Chief, I want the Lackey. I think sack Skirk. Come on, good hit. Come on, good hit. Come on, good hit. It's a really good fucking hit. <laughs> All right. Triple Lackey's a little monk ass, but. <laughs> there are 19. You're going to escape this thing. Second P fire. Uh, fuck. <laughs> And field it out. Uh oh. One, two, three, four. Okay, another five. They're far away from field. So we have like three very damaging threats, but I'm worried they might be able to beat them. This eats up a lot of red mana, so they might not be able to. This, this. Oh, this game's close. If I had a patch, like, it would not be close. It's really unfortunate that I had to discard it uh, instead of the land that I ended up drawing. But it was just too risky to, to discard the land. What would we bottom with the Muxus? Bone Crusher? Okay. It's notable. We still have all... We have one... We have three matrons still. Matron for War Chief, probably good enough. Also notable if I activate Slang Gang, they can bring back P-Fire. Okay. One, two. They don't have enough unique lands for field. Wasteland, okay. That doesn't do it. So they can play Wasteland. You fire the pile driver. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Yep. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Pretty close to dead. Okay. Legacy Pit, thanks for the raid. Welcome, everyone. All right, this is just a really high chance of... I'll let you keep this one. Wow, all right, that was not good enough. But... That's a lot of creatures still. Looks like we're going to get this. Opponent's at four. They need, like, a chasm. All right, let's see if they dredge.
All right, so we'll port Canyon. I only have one war chief left in the deck, so it does not seem worth it. Trashmaster could be a thing. I guess Grenzo is also a reason, but that's just. I guess. Nah. I'm not sure. Crop rotation. They have Chasm in their deck. I might be dead. Unless I draw my other Sling Gang. But I bought him this time. Bottom of the Blood Moon. Sag. My field now. This game just got so complicated. They have two P fires in hand. <sighs> I get a bunch of Grenzo triggers. Potentially. They've played the f so they played Field of the Dead. They get to play one more land, but they also have crop rotation. I don't know, that, that crop rot hit might win. Unless we draw something. I mean, we still have three matrons that we've dug very deep. We've, we have a lot of non-matron cards in the bottom of our deck, so our chances are actually better than it looks. Um, and obviously, we could just draw the sling gang. We do have a couple of turns. Because they can't really go for a 20-20. I don't think that'll survive. I probably have to get Chasm if they have Chasm. Does Maze do it? No, nah, it's just a really wide word. Last zone. Lost too much mana to use. And they lose their exploration, which is their. I got a fetch, okay. Two P fires in hand. One, two, three. So they have five mana. They can use both P fires, but they're still dead right now. And fetching matters a lot. I also have Tarfire in my deck that could kill them. So close. I always say if we draw a land, we're kind of not happy. Okay. Is this really enough to stop me? MP fire once. Got a three. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Double field my oh maybe I should have ported the stage. Porting the stage. Oh god, they hit another fucking crop rotation. Are you kidding me? No, come on. Is that the fourth crop rotation? I'm thinking of a different game. That's, that's just the second. 
Uh, I should have poured the stage. I should have poured the stage. Yeah, I have one sling left. Now they get tab. Six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six. I uh, got another fetch. Fetchables left? This is fucking ridiculous, though. All right, they're dead to Tarfire. I should have poured the stage, though. Uh, Feel of the Dead was what they needed. Matron, 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 matron. Worst on the deck. I am is insane that they they were able to make nine. This is why I fucking hate Valakut exploration. <laughs> this game should be fucking over, absolutely fucking over. <sighs> I'm gonna lose. The last Muxus hit was not good enough. Oh, should I attack with the Muxus? I don't know. That's so fucking irritating. So fucking irritating. God, like, come on. Come the fuck on. I'm not going to concede because we still have outs, but, like, that is some major bullshit right now. They started the turn with five unique lands. Right, right. <sighs> like, this, this card is so stupid. This card is unbelievably stupid. I cannot believe they printed this. <sighs> they were at four with no board. And now I'm going to lose. Fucking skill game. And they have a force of vigor. Cool. I need to draw a literal shock. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm also down. They're also down by 10 minutes, which makes this extra tilting. Oh, oh yeah. More crop rotation is cool. We stall? No. We're dead next turn. I should block the lackey. Puts a blast zone. That's actually really bad. Please, for the love of God, let me draw slinging or shock. Please just give me Tarfire. Yeah, now look at Deaths. <laughs> and a fucking Abrupt Decay. Cool. Cool. Yep. Yeah, we got like four or five. Yeah, we have like five outs. I fucking hate magic, man. I fucking... <sighs> like, I should have ported the stage, but that was fucking ridiculous. Like, un so unreasonable what just happened. Like... <sighs> Like, maybe I'm supposed to, when I connected with the three lackeys and put in the sling gang, I should just not put in the sling gang. Maybe that was actually a huge mistake. I cannot believe I lost this match.
To be fair, I am playing Muxus. You can fuck off. I, I should have Muxus pre-combat, the second Muxus, because of Trash Master, but also because of Grenzo. Um, and I should have ported the stage. If I ported the stage, I win. But that game, that was just so unreasonable what just happened. Oh, yes, I'm playing versus Depths, just what I wanted. All right, well. Don't thought seize me, bro. I've lost like four matches in a row to land. Oh, not Depths. Okay. Doomsday. Okay. Well, our hand's pretty good against Doomsday if the second lackey resolves, which they need double force to beat. That's, that lands match was just like genuinely so, so unbelievably frustrating. Okay. <laughs> I I can't I can't be jumping around. It's late and there's people in the house. I used to love playing versus lands. I used to find it so interesting. Like that game was interesting, but like Falcon Exploration is just this combination of like stupid, like always keeps going. Okay. So Dark Ritual Doomsday. Pass the turn. Unless they have some real, unreal bullshit. Um, if we draw land, we can squad them. Lander Skirk. Yeah, this is just like ultra ape doomsday. I mean, doomsday is pretty ridiculous, right? It's just like. Turn two combo with Force of Will backup. Might be one turn too late. Maybe. Let's count dazes. Unless they can kill me here. Okay, no. Not that good. Eight. No, not good enough. Okay. Uh, count aces. One. Two. Three. Save a days in hand. Okay. All right. We need to mux this into something real good. Nice. Literally worst cards in my deck. <laughs> what a joke. Oh my god, it's such a fucking joke, dude. If I drew a land, I could, ex I could expert the... I guess I should have just put Sling Egg into play, because they would fucking die. Oh my god, that is so... 
I am... Oh my god, that is so fucking frustrating. Oh my god! Unbelievable. Unbelievable! Oh my god, I hate... I fucking hate magic, man. This is, this is the worst. I'm in hell. I'm just fucking losing it. It's just... So fucking frustrating. Like, I think, I think it's correct to put in the sling gang. I mean, put in the, the Muxus. Because if you hit Skirk, you can probably kill him. Like, Skirk plus Matron wins. Oh, God. I kind of need all the war marshals. I'll just get the last expert. Guess. Yeah, that that will definitely happen without a doubt. I can't. I game one's stupid. So stupid. Our Moxuses have just been like. <laughs> Like, our first one against lands was super good, and then the second one was really bad. Like, we had a lot of cards to kill. We drew, we, we looked so deep for a matron. We went, like, 20 cards over the course of the game without seeing a second matron. Well, 20, 20 cards in, like, the last couple of turns, I should say. So I'm playing four spirits. Okay, so that makes Sling Gang really good. So I should just remember that. Are you fucking kidding me, man? <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Oh my god. This is a joke. This is just a fucking joke. I'm getting memed on. This is like Magic Online is just playing a joke on me. <laughs> this is just fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god. I I this is like gonna be lost number six in a row, and I'm pretty sure some of them are my fault, but other ones just like complete like three percent to happen is like my life. I know I'm just making up numbers, but like this shit is fucking ridiculous. I'm just Oh my god, it's so fucking frustrating, man. It's so fucking frustrating. Now they're gonna take 5,000 years to do the Doomsday Pile and then win next turn through the Reb. I bet their hand is like Days Force, too. I mean, this game one, they had to tutor for it. They had force plus the turn to kill that dug through entirely through their deck. That's what's ridiculous. Force, force. Force negation? Why? They have double force. Are you fucking kidding me? One, two, three. No, no, no. Okay. Days. Force. 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 Okay, so there's no forces. There's dazes. Mario, I'm I'm like giga salty right now. It's like really frustrating today. They did put cavern in their pile. Oh, they have days. Do, 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 days one. Two, three, four days. Okay. Um, I 
brainstorms. One, two, three, four. Okay, no brainstorms. Supporting is fine. Yeah, black red turn turn ones a lot. Oops, also turn turn ones. Uh, a lot. Tess also turn ones a lot. Belcher also turn ones a lot. Okay, so if Lackey It's like fatal push. If we get one more turn, we win. So they do have to cycle through their whole deck, which looks like they can do. Fucking ridiculous, dude. I'm just getting memed on all day. Four oh four oh four one. I went four oh lose the final lose the final round, and then uh, one four oh two drop. It's just. Oh my god. I feel like I'm just getting stupendously unlucky. Like like I know what legacy decks are capable of, and I feel like my opponents are high rolling the fuck out of me, like nonstop. Like nonstop. It's just so fucking annoying. Like can I just play against someone who like has a medium hand for once? Yeah, yeah, it's exact. Oh, this fucking guy again. Great. I lost the die roll again. I kept seven. You have to keep like all basics. Like I'm not gonna get wastelanded out, which is like the number one thing. They are gonna play turn one exploration. Ah, oh, they have mocks and exploration. Just... What? Yeah, yeah, Steve, maybe it's just that. It's just taking, like, the correct line kills you, but the the wrong line would win is how a lot of this feels. Oh, yay! The broken card, yay! I hate lands so much, man. OK. 
Okay. Like, I should probably just be playing Turbo Muxus and just ape the fuck out of people. Like, apparently that's what the format is. You just... Right now... Oh, gravitation! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, wasteland, please. Report is acceptable. Mm-hmm. They're not wastelanding me. Interesting. What does that mean? They need the mana? It's 2020 me? Probably just getting 2020 next turn, huh? And somehow Lance is able to deal me a million damage. Okay. None of those really do anything. Oh, well, Ringleader's good, but these two are garbage. For the moment, anyway. I don't know, maybe they can't 2020 me. Card seems. Oh, yeah. There's the crap rotation. There it is. Who would have thought? So we need to miraculously kill them through a 2020 and a Maze of Ith, and they're at 19. What do you think, chat? We can't even sling gang to stay alive because of this fucking bullshit. Random ass card. Plus this thing. Find a way to blow that Mox Diamond. And good. Two awful ringleaders. Hooray. Dingo's plan, thanks for the follow. Yeah, it's just you just you just full ape, dude. There's there's no thought. <laughs> you just fucking slam your bullshit card. Lands is so fucking infuriating now. Do I, maybe I like board and thorn. Maybe like thorns randomly good against them. You know, fuck it. I'm gonna board and thorn. Uh. Goodbye, Yorick Squad. I'm just going to make their shit hard to cast. It's probably awful, but three mana P fire seems a lot more beatable than also like four mana Valkyrie exploration is a lot more than two mana. Does this beat Maze of Ith? Turn one Field of the Dead, go. Interesting. Okay, that's a good draw. They are dead on turn three. Uh, 
It looks like I'm going to win when they didn't play Torn Exploration. Hey. Stomp will beat Maze, yes. I thought it, could, it removes it from combat. I would assume no. Oh, I didn't actually board on the Thorn. Uh, I think the squad's probably better. Thorn, Thorn's going to be too slow on the draw, regardless. This ain't it. Mm. Ah. Does it really not remove from combat? I'm pretty sure it did. Just untaps the prince damage. Okay. Yay, turbo exploration. Yay. Kramer thinks of the follow. Blue Red Kate with alternate cost pitch, pitch a goblin. That pretty fucking good. Here's where they make a 2020. I'm gonna just like fucking go home. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's happening next turn. I can feel it. It's happening. You fire my dude, do it. Oh, that's way worse. Okay. Okay. I think I have to sack my prospector. I think I have to wasteland the stage, then like oh, maybe I have to kill the field though. The summon library is like devastating actually. Maybe I don't need to pop it yet. Uh, this is tough. Capolo fix the raid. Kind of salty today <laughs> it's, it's been rough it's been really rough we had a really good start and now things have just been awful it's really really frustrating uh third Rashad and Port just what we needed yeah we're just super far behind I don't I don't know how to beat turn exploration I don't know if it's possible it's just like you need them brick really hard oh yay fucking it's nothing matters. It's fucking nothing matters. Play my two two. They get field. They're starting to get field active through a wasteland on turn four, probably. That's just. It's just unbeatable. It's just you just can't do anything. Like I, I pop the loam. I hit their stage. They don't. Have, they they have both stage and double field of the dead. Like it's just not. Like you have to force. Like it's even a blue deck. You have to force will this. You have to force will this. And you have to force will this. Like how the fuck do you win? And there's the loam. Like this. I feel like every deck, every fair deck loses this. Like it's just you just have to combo them and they die. Like this game's just been fucking miserable, man. Like like it's just every spell in every land draws three cards now because of this. This, this card is so fucking unreasonable. And then obviously it's not the card that would ever ever get banned, but I just I just hate I just hate it so fucking much. I just hate it so much. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds awful. My opponent, I had them dead. I, they were so dead. They were four. There's like 
I had like eight goblins in play. And they just rattled off the perfect amount of things to double field, make nine zombies. And uh, they made nine zombies after starting with five lands in play. And have double P-fire. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Oh my god, it's such a joke. It's such a joke. Yep, I played Mass Vandal for a little bit. Parsh in large part because of this, and I didn't ever run into it when I when I play it. Like Maybe that's what we have to do, though. Like, I've played against lands so much recently. Like, so much. It's, like, kind of insane. Mm-hmm. Imagine they don't waste slime me and then I draw Blood Moon. God, there's no justice in this world. Okay. <laughs> they have double conversation. <laughs> oh my god. Sick draws, dude. Like. Can you imagine a better lands draw? I'm I struggle. I struggle to imagine a better lands draw. Turn exploration. Turn to Loam plus Sylvan Library. Or no, turn to uh oh third exploration. Cool. Um. When when was this? Turn one land exploration field. Lo turn to loam plus library. Turn three Valakut. Turn four double crop rut. It cannot get better than that. All right, I'm dead. Whatever. I'm sick of sitting here. It literally can also <laughs> sick draws me. It cannot get better than that. I think that's a top. Got to be a top one percent of land draws. <laughs> like. <laughs> Uh, turn two squad. Have an hour later, 10,000 on my laptop yet. Well, it's my girlfriend's laptop, so. She, I would, she'd be very upset with me if I did that. Island. Vile. Okay. This Espervile. If it's Espervile, we'll take the Plague Engineers out of there. Could be spirits. You're not wrong.
Like, it even printed Field of the Dead, so, like, you can't even, like, Pithy Needle out lands anymore. Like, they force a figure. Wow, it's fish. Okay. Yeah, I just take three Thassa's Oracle. Because Paradigm Shift doesn't do anything if you don't have Oracle in your hand. Land. Okay, it's not a land, but it's a creature that can't beat. Okay. Lost Legacy. That'd be that'd be a card. Certainly would be a card. Mutable's kind of annoying. If we draw, if we draw red land, the game's over. Block. True skill. We knew about that one. I guess that's pretty good against. Squad land, please. Thank you. I also backpiled over to block. So next turn, what are we doing? <laughs> this is a pretty good fish draw. Bad. Um, uh, Could just start experting the lords. But I kind of want to get a second pile driver with this matron. But I don't know if I'm supposed to cast it or not. Because of force. Oh, I didn't take notice if they have days or not in their deck. That's probably an important thing to look at. Oh my god. It's been five hours. <laughs> okay, actually... this
Sling gang's pretty interesting. I think second pilot error will just absolutely murder them because we have a wasteland for muta vault, so it'll be two, four, six, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Second pilot error kill him. You need a second muta vault. Okay. If I can draw a land, I can expert as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this is three seven. Made mutable. Okay. So we get a free block on this. That's three six nine thirteen. Do I die to a lord if I don't block? I think it's free to block with matron. Right, because it'd be two, four, six, eight, nine per pile driver. Yeah. Oh, am I still dead? Fucking math. Wow, I just lost a fish. I'm sorry, everyone. I, I, I can't fucking catch a break today. I can't, I just cannot. I simply cannot catch a break. It's fucking ridiculous. I guess I should. I just play the fucking pile driver. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll die game two and three. It's fine. But god damn, this is frustrating. We have like no lackey answers on the play, so I guess I'll do that. And. All my cards are good. Grants is bad. Um, I'll need one pyrokinesis one on the play, theoretically. Get the side out four cards. It seems so many. Like a one of the ringleaders. A chain whirler is bad against all the lords, I guess. It's really good if they don't have the lords though. Our fire are bad. I don't know. It's humiliating losing to fish, man. Feels so bad. I got a turn two squad. I'm lost. And turn two squad's not that good against them, but. Maybe I should have just traded it with something. I don't know. What time is it? It's almost one. Did 
Double reb, you say? I think I'm supposed to crater maker their vial. Okay, definitely crater maker in their vial. We're just going to port them for a thousand years until this uh, Muxus comes in off this file. Mm -hmm. Dylan, do you think the raid? Appreciate it. How's it going, everyone? We're, uh... Oh, it's been a rough night. Started out really strong. Started off really strong. And then, uh... A bunch of bullshit happened. <laughs> Flashing a 2-2 two -two probably. Goblins are acceptable. If you're in for goblins, this is the place. <clears throat> Okay. All right, Mux, this is coming. Oh, I'm probably supposed to support Island Island, actually. Paradigm Shift. Last for true name. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna cast Muxus now. So I'll leave my Violin 4. Pile Driver, you're supposed to flip into play off the Muxus, not... Not be drawn for turn. If, also, if I don't port both caverns, I can't blast true name. Okay. That was a pretty good one. Well met. I suspect my opponent will not kill me. Yo, come on. <laughs> Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Am I the unluckiest magic player uh of, of the day? What's my, am I I've been I've been my constructed ratings like sixteen hundred now.
I've lost so much today. Oh yeah. 1900 to 1674. Oh yeah. Remember when I trophied 13 times with goblins in a season? Remember that? <laughs> Remember when I just beat the shit out of everyone? Exclamation point decklist if you want it. I think that's old. Decklist. Do it. Why is it not showing up? Some TG bot? It's definitely decklist, unless I'm just a moron. Oh, no, nope, that's correct. All right. Ignore me. Oh my god. Like, I'm getting aped so hard. The problem is if I want to play Tower Runbox, I have to borrow cards, because I don't own Ancient Tombs. Like, this shit is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> we just losing in the most unlikely ways imaginable. And, like, Tower Runbox is so fucking lame, man. It's just not an interesting deck. I want to play this deck. I want to play, you know... The diverse and interesting games that this creates. Not fucking herp derp. Mm. Okay. If this is lands and they play Torment Exploration again, I'm going to fucking AFK. I don't know. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. <sighs> I clicked through it. Click through it. Whatever. Don't have a main deck chain roller, right? No. Interesting. All right, well, got to get lucky. I'm going to make you for This is probably my worst losing streak of all time. God damn it. I need like a war marshal. Okay. Okay. We can kill two things. I believe it should be Let's see if I'll attack first, see what they do. We see Symbio, obviously, but then probably Query Ranger makes the most mana. Oh, yeah, they run Crater Hoof. 
It's for the natural order. I'm just doing this now to mitigate um, Cradle. Arbor. Okay. Visionary. Okay. Please no Heritage Druid. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. <laughs> Well, if they hoof, they probably can't kill me. Yeah, why do I? Yeah, right? <laughs> right? Oh, great. I was thinking I can block forever. That's fine. Yep, I'm pretty good at calling the exact card that I can't beat. It's my specialty. Um, I don't actually want to sack that last goblin yet. Don't you dare have fucking natural order as your last card. Totally have it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm dead. I have to sack everything. Like, I'm not gonna. That's just, that's just, like, what are you, what are you supposed to do about, like, the amount of bullshit that's happening to me? Like, you just kind of have to laugh, right? I don't really want to play Vintage. Like, Legacy should be fun right now, and I was having a lot of fun right at the start, even though I wasn't winning that much, but it's just like... You can only get unlucky so many times before you lose your shit a little. Oh, fuck, either Isle. Either Isle sucks in this matchup. <laughs> All right, we'll just high roll. Right? Let's draw Redland, Redland in a row. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, put against like no fair blue, except for like the couple times that I like played badly. So it's just like it's just so frustrating. Pyrokinesis, come on, red land symbiote. Okay. Okay. Um, I just bounce this. It's 
so I'm forcing them to I'm, I'm basically trading Lackey to bounce Nettle Sentinel. That doesn't actually seem good. I could just kill the symbiote. It's gonna pass. Well, I do have this Mind Break Trap active for the next thing they do. They've not made a land drop. Kind of wish I killed this. It's just the best play if they don't have a land. Okay, they have a land. Holy shit, red land, please. Redland, please. Redland or Pyrokinesis. Either are good. Redland, 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 Redland. Thank fucking God. Matron for Pyrokinesis time. Okay. There's Visionary. Okay. Still had a really fucking good hand. All right. Still dead to natural order. I get here. Trashmaster main has been very good. Get Skirk. Probably doesn't matter because I'm dead, but. Yep. I wonder if they get progenitus. Oh. All right. We're alive. Slinking's very good against Hoof. Pashlik isn't active yet. Next turn it will be. So we can attack with this. Wait, they're not dead, are they? 
five. No. So I need to block here. There. I can just attack like this and block with two tokens. Uh oh, then my Valsaur Shepherd. Keep back one more. I can like 100% kill them next turn, so I just need to live for a turn. Natural order two. If they play two hoofs, good for them. <laughs> we can survive through a lightning. Let's see if you got two hoofs. Green sun for two. Okay. Or visionaries? Maybe ooze. Yeah. Oh, this got tricky. I have four mana. One, two, three, four. Okay. Metal usually means two hoofs. I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Okay. So they can gain four life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right, I think it's just Pashlik time. Yeah. I could kill the ooze, actually. If I kill the ooze, swing. One, two, three, four, five. Don't get to gain any more life. Because then they tap their blockers. But if I just expert the ooze... Um, swing with all but this, they block. One, two, three, four. I don't think that's enough. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. And they can gain three life. Am I missing anything? Yeah. 
two, four, six, eight. Oh, that's a lot of math. <laughs> okay. Round it back. It's very stressful doing that math because if you make a mistake, you just fucking lose. <laughs> Pyrokinesis in the opener would be rather preferred. Uh, I had it in it. I had a really good hand. I'm kind of surprised we won. Okay. This hand's really awkward. Keep it, but it has a lot of problems. Namely, we can't cast our two best removal spells. <laughs> we can't cast Expert or Jump Hold. Okay, well, if we draw the red source, we'll be in pretty good shape. Crater Maker's quite good with Pashlik. Forked Bolt OP. It's unlikely we're going to die through the mind break. Um, do I counter this? I think I do. Gah. Daggers. Oh. So the last card is natural order they got me. Red source have been insane though. It's basically game winning. I can have it. God damn it. And an extra green sun to boot. Pyrokinesis would have stone cold won the game. Just by a mile. All right. Not literally dead, but pretty dead. Okay. No, we can stabilize here. It's possible. Block sack, kill the Quarian Ranger. Draw a red source, play Pashalik. He really top deck visionary. Or top deck green sun. Oh my god. 
<laughs> These fucking riffs. Unreal. I could use. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind me. I'll just draw the best spell possible at every possible interval. Look at me. Um. Pyrokinesis would also be good. Okay, there's a land. But I can't actually, I'm not actually allowed to play a patch like because of ooze. It can just be a 5-5. Five five. And I can't double expert. I can't believe they fucking ramped green sun for two. Oh, it's such a joke. It's such a joke. Cradle. <laughs> uh huh. Literally, <laughs> just can't. It just can't get any better than that. It simply cannot. Like you could stack your deck, and that's what you'd want to draw. <laughs> I I I think my last three opponents have literally stacked their decks against me. It's kind of obscene. Like I think most like I don't even think this is a goblin's problem. It's like a me problem. I think I think most people would have similar records as I do right now. Like I'm just I'm just going to continue to play until I fucking win a match because this is <laughs> it's just so silly. So I'm on a one, uh, after starting 4-0, I've won one match and lost eight. See you, man. See you, JP. Like, <laughs> if they don't draw the ooze there, I win. Like, it's gotta be ooze. It's the only card. Like, none of the elves matter. Like, visionary kind of matters, but, like... This is just, like, kind of hysterical. Like, how, how many times can I lose in a row? Let's see. And I'm not, like, doing it on purpose. It's just, like... How many things can go the worst possible? Alright, this hand's fine. What if I was a paid actor? I would love to be paid. Like, do I even put this on YouTube? It's just like me getting stupendously unlucky for like four hours. <laughs> That's what's going on here. Save the mind break trap for another set. I think if I don't mind break trap the visionary, 
they can just wait a turn and then hoof me to death. Oh, Hogak. Okay, they're dead. We have successfully outskilled our Hogak opponent. Oh, wait, this is another Goblin Lackey. Never mind, they're not dead. <laughs> Saw one mana, one one attacking. Crab. Skirk's still good against Gag. I have like no graveyard hate. This is bad. Bloodgast and Bridge from Below. That's unfortunate. All right, I thought we were just going to win. It appears we were not. Still, I mean, if they have Stitch Supplier, I die. Another Blood. Whatever. Yeah, it's going to be Supplier. No oh, Carrion Feeder. And they have exactly enough to, to delve out the Gak. Great! <laughs> I guess they leave a, lose a Grave Crawler. Okay, all right, all right. War Marshal, Ringleader. Nope. All right, so we have to like play this, do nothing, and then uh, slam Muxus. Do more fetch lands. God, can I roll my eyes any harder? Oh, a Bloodcast and a Vengevine. Cool. Okay, they can't trigger their Vengevine. Interesting. Keep holding back the creature they can't block. We still need like a pretty crazy Muxus. I have no graveyard hate. I'm definitely gonna lose this match. Um, we can try to blood moon them. That seems loose. We got two relics. <laughs> Surgical. Good. Ah, wait. Why didn't they do that pre combat? That doesn't make any sense. They could have hit me for four more. Plus these. But worse draw on the deck actually, because I needed to flip that off of Muxus to have a chance of winning. It's kind of funny how that's happened multiple times now, where the turn before I Muxus, I draw the card I need to Muxus with. <laughs> like that's happened many times now. <laughs> Manuel for, uh, Fiorenzia, thanks for the follow. <laughs> this shit is just ridiculous. Uh. Are they dead? Did I out ridiculous them? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 13. Close. I might be able to live here, actually. I think I can live here. Yeah, slinging was clutch as fuck. They have more venge lines, maybe not. It's a bridge from below, but I got that covered. They're holding back the GAC? 
Okay. Take four. Should gain two. I should should block the grave crawler. Okay. This is quite a stack. Okay. Get a zombie. Two zombies. Sack the gack. Okay, so they can recast it. Um, I'm worried they've all turned their hand, in which case I'm giving them too much material. Second ringleader's free. <laughs> all right. Um. Still can do this. <laughs> Gotta set up some auto yields and then turn them off. It's yield. Yield. At the end of all that, they're at 9, I'm at 12. <laughs> Turn off auto yields. Okay, they don't have alter. If their last card's alter and I die, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> Got some Vengevine. Pass the fucking turn, I swear to God. Okay, all right. No, no fucking altar. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um... All that, and they die. <laughs> Once upon a time is legal, yes. So this is six damage. It's more than enough by itself, but I'll just cast the Skirk, make it easy. This opponent really just tanking on the being dead after all that. I mean, they knew about 
they knew about those cards, right? Yeah. Holy shit, that was agonizing. <laughs> kind of sick that we drew slinging and then hit a second one, so that was very lucky. All right, got to get quite fortunate. Maybe have to board in Mind Break Trap because we have so little. My server's normally really like a million cards for Gak, so this is like pretty weird for me. Grenzo, random exiles like all of its utility. Eh. Oh, I don't have a Caracas. That's actually a huge problem. Gat gets in play. We're in huge trouble. All right. Um, maybe I have to have my break trap for Gak. To make a cut anyway, though. Do you have a pile driver on the draw? It's be hard to be aggressive. But, like their deck doesn't block very well, but okay. All right, you know what? As far as not having graveyard hate, it's not bad. You can either turn one Skirk or turn one Tarfire. Turn two Expert, turn three Whirler pretty easily. Hopefully this is a Crab. Uh, it's a little more scary. Just go push Venge Vine. More Marshal. All right, we're playing Skirk and hope we don't have to use the Tarfire. Hmm. Two Venge Vines. Oh. oh, man. I don't think I can afford to sack the Skirk. Gotta hope they brick hard on this one. Grave crawler. Gives you vent shines. Alright. Attack for eight. Okay, matron's a start. Alright, so we gotta go. War Marshal. Chain Whirler. Now that I made that play, I actually don't like it very much. Like it gets alter. Spooky. Okay. Okay. 
Yo, come on with that. Okay. They have zero cards. Maybe we're okay. Expert this. There's a bridge. And then sack. Okay. I need them to not draw anything somehow. Okay. Okay. There are 15. It's the fastest way to kill them. I can get Matron for Crater Maker up. How many blood gas do they have? One. They must have drawn Decay or Trophy or Hogak or Force of Vigor. I think anything else they would have cast. They could have drawn Bridge from Below. We're in a very precarious situation. But draw a land. We can matron. I think they're thinking about the King Skirk. Which would be a smart play. Okay. Oh, they could have drawn Vengevine. That's another card. Yeah. Oh, they're drifting that. Okay. Ramps me. So... Do I squad them? Nah. So close to Trash Master, but so far. Okay, and then we can just save this for when they put something in play. Fetchling's scary. All right, I can let them have one mill two. What? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, my God, I forgot. I forgot about Droid Arbor. <sighs> Uh, 
That is such a fucking pun. No. <laughs> Why? Okay. Gotta be Muxus. And we'll port the arbor to not die, because we have to go to one. That was a pretty big mistake, though. I guess, what am, what am I even supposed to do, then? I'm supposed to... Kill... Yeah. There's actually no really good play there. I'd have to Crater Maker the Bloodcast. Tar fire that. No, I can't. Fuck. All right, so I have to go to one and then draw a land. Must be a non fetch land, too. God, just one turn for the surgical. Oh, God, why? All right, so our Muxus would have flipped. Oh, yeah, they would have been dead. God damn. God damn. I think squad's going to be too awkward. It's not a red card for pyrokinesis. Okay. I wonder if getting Crater Maker was just wrong. I wonder if playing this relic is wrong, actually. Not going to play around the thing. No force bigger, okay. Okay, no fetch land, that's cool. Okay. Okay. Um...
Could just pyrokinesis these two. Probably eat a lot of graveyard value. I guess there's no reason for me to necessarily do that until they put something on the stack, though. Attack. Could also justify way signing them, but I think I need to wait to do that. Hmm. I don't think they have more lands because. They would play fetch lands first. Crap. <laughs> Smash of the Ages, thanks for the follow. Okay, Crab Chickers are actually going to save my life here. All right, sweet. So we can let one resolve. And then this. Um, and I'll pitch Trash Master. Yeah. Skirk is not bad. Okay. Um... Force them to sack their crab to the carrion. Okay, they don't have that. Um, all right. I think I should kill the crab. I have two cards. Lowers my clock a lot, though. And I don't think they have lands. Hmm, this is tough. Would you guys kill the crab here? I think I'm supposed to, but it kind of feels bad. Yeah, they haven't missed a drop, but they, they haven't been playing fetch lands. Which is like a major indicator. Nice. Oh my god, I finally fucking win. Oh my god, I finally fucking win. Let's, let's get the fucking 2-3. Don't play land top deck fetch them back in the game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I got what you mean. It's just tough because it's minus four damage, right? And I could have just wastelanded them instead. It's kind of funny that if they didn't have the crabs in play, the Dryad Arbor thing would have let them cast the Hogak through the Relic. All right, last match of the day. 
calling it after this. I've been streaming for six hours and 22 minutes. This is my longest stream ever. I mean, it's no coincidence that my losing streak is happening on stream. But fuck, man. It was really bad today. It was really bad. There were no fall of goblins, I think. I don't know. Maybe the deck's just really badly positioned, but streaming is very hard. I got two four ones off stream, and then this happens, you know. Oh, God. Please, no. It's like one of the best players. Uh. <laughs> it's playing elves or DNT probably. Sometimes play with Black Red Reanimator, so maybe he's just doing reanimator things. That's the die roll again. Ugh. All right, sands keep bull against most decks. Oh, is he playing Depths? Please don't play... Oh, he's playing Elves. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I Wasteland this? Probably not. It's probably Bait. All right, I'm going to go with Wasteland Vial. I might double Wasteland him next turn. This is like a very bad mana source for Elves. A couple things to punish, like maybe just a one lander. Okay, maybe just had a one lander and I should have always landed him. Okay, all right, all right, Arbor. We can double waste land that. Our hand is still bad. We don't have anything to do, but am <laughs> I getting glimpsed from here? Oh, of course, of course, of course, why not? I wonder if I just wastelanded on turn one if he just would have lost. Probably not. Uh Did you even show him that I'm goblins? I guess I could draw another wasteland. Yeah, pyrogenesis will be really good if we draw it. Okay, we can trade with two things. Probably still dead. But you know. Maybe I should have killed this. And then Lacky can't connect, so it's like one less creature dead. I wonder if we win this game on the play. Gives turn one this off Peatland, away Slandom. Yeah, the Cradle actually would really struggle to get going. He might get totally bricked on. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot to violin the Mogwar Marshal. Oh no, I didn't, never mind. Okay. Um... Let's crack this. Let's get second arbor. Let's see, it's five, six, seven. Eight mana. Dead to green sun. Okay. 
Okay, so he's attacking. He's going to activate. So I'll block the Reclaimer. Wait, what? Playing around Chain Roller, I guess. Um, okay, none of these are on tappers. F3, KF2, thanks for the follow. No, I'm dead. <laughs> We're close for a hot second there. Um, I guess I boarded in the Blood Moon. Um, squad's fine on the play. Our sword shepherd made squad a lot worse actually, because they can kill you after you deal the take the natural order targets. I don't know, moon. It's good versus cradle, but I think it's just not gonna impact the board enough. I think I leave in Wandering Leader. Uh, experiment with Historic Goblins. No, I don't even have a Arena downloaded. Uh, it's like one of those fair hands that like just doesn't get there against Elves. It's such a good hand, like all the other, like so many fair matchups. Okay. Really wish this was a two mana removal spell, because then we just win. Um Don't actually want to draw War Chief, so I'll mountain first. Expert, 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 tar fire, expert, tar fire. Do I attack? I could die if I don't attack. How am I getting this Muxus into play if I don't attack? Or if I do attack? Well, I'm just going to just make more blockers. I have to fucking attack. It sucks. Yeah, we're just gonna flood out and die. All right. Wish that war chief was in my fucking hand right now. If this is any other two mana rebel spell. That was actually for two mana, and we'd win the game. Pretty annoying. It's kind of why I don't like. Crater Maker as much as I used to. It's just so awkward. Hmm. 
seven cards. I have three, and they all do nothing. Okay. Interesting. I think this means end of turn. Arbor, natural or progenitus. I mean, Historic Abbas was tier one for a while. I have no idea about his placement right now. All right, we just got to get Skirk and then Muxus. So we have to be able to beat Progenitus. There's a six cards and I'm just I'm just gonna fucking die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Wait, his hand's gotta be so bad. What the fuck? His hand has to be terrible. All right, Muxus, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now, buddy. Shane Whirler. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Wow. Okay. I have no, the f no idea how I won that game. This hand must have been so unbelievably bad. Um, okay, I don't really understand how I won. Um, do I want anything else? Do I want the Blood Moon? No. Do I want a second Lexus? No, that gets stuck in your hand a lot. I think we just got lucky. Alright, Pyrokinesis in the opener. Some good beats. It's a one-lander, but I think this track's okay. Green Sun Farber is one of their scarier starts. Hmm. Do I tar fire that? It's very inefficient to tar fire that. Well, it's actually not that bad. So then I go Lackey plus File to Expert. I'm going to kill it. Arbor's really scary. Schultz with a 13-month sub, man. Thank you. Despite getting my ass kicked for hours. Appreciate your support. Someone beat your own route. That's one of the best players online. I guess I could go expert next turn as well if I have to. All right, glad I killed it. Yep. Jeez. I think I should kill Symbiote.
Slacking via rotting in my hand, but I think it's the only thing keeping me alive. Getting turn three glimpsed after double removal. It's kind of insane. <sighs> Another fucking symbiote, dude. Come on. It's cradle. Yeah. Triple symbiote. All right, so I'm going to attack, and then if he takes it, I'll get to squat him. That's my out. Like, he could untap the Reclaimer, but he might think that's too risky. Can you already replay his land? No. Goodness. Yep. Okay. That was really, really good. Um... Do I attack first? No? Okay, it's three symbiotes down. Maybe we get to squad him next turn. Okay. <sighs> okay, so he's another glimpse in hand. That's pretty bad for me. We take the hoof. He doesn't have progenitus, which is interesting. He doesn't have a cradle in his hand yet. Oh no, he doesn't. He doesn't have a glimpse in his hand. Okay. Um. I could just take. I mean, taking a cradle doesn't actually do anything. He's got a uh, reclaimer. I think I take a glimpse. Take shepherds and hoof. I mean, I guess he could have boarded a shepherd out. I want to take the use though. It's like leaving one copy of something that's a creature just like doesn't help you. I think I take ooze hoof glimpse or arbor. 
Arbor lets him do really silly things with Ranger. I'll take the Arbor. And play... Play... Or Vile, rather. Does it feel to play a Goblin deck that isn't secretly an Elk deck? <laughs> so Progenitus is in his hand? Okay, there's a Shepherd, that makes sense. Fourth Symbiote? That's annoying. What was the overall game plan of Goblins and Legacy, especially versus Combo? Um, combo is kind of hard to generalize, but you've got some disruptive cards like your Squad. You've got Sling Gang. A lot of Legacy combo decks, their life total actually genuinely matters, like Doomsday. Um, depths you want to get above 20, so the life gain matters with Sling Gang. Um, I mean, combos definitely your, your tougher matchups, but I mean, against slower, like show and tell, Muxus beats a lot of their payoffs, like Grizzle Ran and Emrakul. You've Crater Maker for Emrakul specifically. Um, Red Elemental Blast is a big part of my plan versus combo. Oh, wait, did he miss that I took the other Arbor? <laughs> oh my god, he messed up. Let me draw a lot of tokens for a while. Slinking maybe eventually kills him, but sort of like cash this in, draw this, play that, attack for six. Wow, I cannot believe I beat him. It's not really a mid range deck. It's not, no, it's nothing like Red Prison. Totally different. Goblins is... What makes Goblins interesting is that it's the, it's the everything deck. It's the aggro combo control prison deck. Because it kind of got a little bit of everything. Which makes it interesting to play, but also very hard to play. Because you have to change roles a lot. So in a lot of matchups, you're the control. In, a lot of, in others, you're the beatdown. It can change on a dime because of your haste haste stuff and reach um and like cards like muxus so like you you might just be playing control like the entire time you're like oh i can kill here um i think it's actually closest to combo control but in some matchups you're just like you are very mid-rangey like against death and taxes it's very mid-rangey because you're just like kill your thing kill your thing kill your thing draw more cards than you um So that is how I would describe it. Yeah, yeah. So against Miracles, like there's a screenshot on Twitter from the other day where like I discarded to hand size versus Miracles. I, drew, I had 10 cards in hand because like, I drew four off of a ringleader after a Muxus. And they just like fucking doomed. Just absolutely doomed. And so like against Miracles, you're just like, you play like some Mogwar Marshals or like some matrons and ringleaders very slowly hit them for like three to four a turn mess with their mana make it hard for them to cast stuff efficiently kill their planeswalkers with expert and stuff or your haste creatures like they want to go like terminus you slam jays then you go like war chief pile driver kill your jays even if it upticked um Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the best beatdown deck in Legacy, though. Like, it's weird because Goblins has a lot of turn three gold fishing potential. It's actually almost trivial to um, kill in turn three if you start with a lackey. 
it's it's very easy but it's just uh, legacy is a format people will interact with your lackey you know um um so in that sense it's the combo deck and like this like the patch like sling gang combo combo is kind of how you end a lot of your games so you beat a lot of decks because it's your best way to kill outside of combat so i, I kind of it's like i jokingly call that the goblins ten tendrils of agony um because it's one goblin is one storm and each goblin is uh two damage and one life yes goblins are very cute the adorable red idiots um so yeah i mean that's what makes the deck so fascinating is that it does so many things um well i'm glad we won those last two matches it's, it's been really rough today but i gotta figure out the lands matchup I gotta figure out what to do about lands delicate exploration is just so hard to beat Yeah, if you like goblins, you want goblins content, you go to my YouTube channel, check all the VODs. Um, you can subscribe to the Patreon, which I will be doing a sideboard guide for something similar to this, whatever I end up landing on for a while. I write a lot of articles about deck building, meta developments, mulligan decisions, play patterns, um, all that sort of stuff. Like... Legacy Goblins has stuck around. It's the very it's the very first decks ever won Legacy Grand Prix, like the first Legacy Grand Prix, and it has stuck around this whole time through various amounts of playability. A lot of people stuck with it for like 20 years almost, 15 years, because the deck it's hard to get too bored of it. No, I think I think going back to Jundon, because if I keep running into this deck, I just I just really and there isn't that much Delver, and people are playing a lot of there's a lot of enchantments. Um Like I played against Curse Stompy today. I played against Lands multiple times. It's good for Omniscience. It's just bad versus Delver, but there isn't that much Delver. So, like, it's probably fine. Um, nice. Um, the Fire Islet was quite good today, I will say. So this mana base, 17, 18 red sources. Nice. Yeah, Goblins is on the cheap set, but bad, bad lands spiked like crazy. You know, if you're running three $750 bad lands, mm, not close to cheap. Um... There are other Jund cards that I want to play. Like Veil's very good. Maybe I need a second Taiga. Or like Bayou. Definitely can't cast a K in this deck. Not a chance. I could cut a red source for Bayou because you want to lead on basic mountain and then you want something that casts both this and this uh, if I get Bayou I have to change fetches I just have to play Wooded Foothills I think I have Wooded Foothills I have two um Cut the maces. Play Bayou. Pretty sure I own a Bayou. Yeah. Problem with this is you go down on ports. Ports very good. And then I cut. I guess I do this. So this is 17 red sources. Okay. How many green sources? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
Port's been really good. Um, port's tricky because it can lead you into making bad plays. Yeah, there's a lot of... This is literally all goblins, except for like three things. Um... Okay, so I'm really I really care about beating lands right now. I'm gonna go to bed after this because it's two thirty in the morning. But I do want to figure this out for next next time I play. I am fucking sick of losing to lands because of Valakut exploration. So sick of that card. Devour two mass vandals. For us, the deck should be okay versus lands. Oh, we put the Muxus in the sideboard because I think that's just correct right now. And main deck, third War Marshal. Third War Chief. Third War Chief. Um, right, two relics. All right. Appreciate you tuning in. Matchup Gauntlet thing versus lands. Uh, I planned to, but then didn't. The Mind Break Trap. Three Riddle Metal Blast, three Veil Summers. Um... Is Thorn the onward out here? I like too much for fair blue. I guess Reb and Veil have some overlap. Do I really need three Veils? I probably don't need three Veils. <laughs> and then... Am I going to play Blood Moon my Jun deck? I guess I have Guy's Cradle, so I think I can actually get away with this. Practice Charm. It's, it's very hard to cast um, black, red, non goblins. It's a fun idea, though, because it, it triggers Lackey if you target yourself. Like, maybe I still want a Pithy Needle over my Blood Moon for lands. Tristan Davenport, thanks for the follow. I think Moon is a better card. Okay. Tim, maybe I need to get some matches in against you just to figure out how to play against lands again because I've lost like my last five matches versus lands and I used to crush that matchup, man. <laughs> I'm just losing my shit. Valkyrie Exploration is just fucking obnoxious. So against lands, I side in D6. Bone Crusher for Reclaimers, and uh... yeah, I feel like when I play Needle, I end up Needling Blast Zone like half the time. It's either Needle Blast on or Needle Stage. I don't know what's what's up with it. Like lands used to have a weaker mana base. I felt like I used to. Have, I felt like I could keep lands off of colors more often. If I like blew up their mox diamonds. What has changed? Do they just cut a colorless lands? Is it just more consistent deck? But it feels like they're playing more colors than ever. People playing blue. People playing jund. I used to feel like if I like blew up a mox diamond and then like ported their green source, they actually kind of got stuck. Some lists aren't less ports, okay. We play nine goblin sticks? Nah. More colors to the commander. Oh yeah, yeah. Um this one of Caracas hasn't actually been that good. So what if I cut Caracas and then play a needle?
Its needle on Blastone is legitimately helpful. This will be good for combo and uh, him decks. This actually looks pretty good. This actually looks pretty good to me. The one port is strange. But I really like port. Oh yeah, definitely fear blast zone. Blast zone and vials so obnoxious, dude. So because if blast if vials get blast zoned, then like I don't know. It, I guess there is downside in that they blow up their own explorations, which is a huge deal because the card I am losing to is turn one exploration like all the fucking time. Like it feels like none of my land's opponents keep hands that aren't turn one exploration or turn two exploration. They just find it really quick. <laughs> Three cards are dead. It's like 2,000 euro. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely an online. I don't own a guy's cradle and I don't own a bayou, so I couldn't play this in paper either. Um, all right. It's hour seven. It's time for me to go. I appreciate everyone tuning in this whole time. Um, it's been quite a marathon. Definitely my longest stream ever by like a large margin. Um, I'm going to raid Strifo. Hell yeah. Get ready for some meme songs. Um, subscribe to the Patreon if you want to support me. I have to get a new computer, and I would really appreciate a way to boost up my wallet because that was an expensive computer I had to replace. Um, I kind of got brutalized today. The start was really good, though. I'm really happy with how I played. I think, I think it does show like my stamina and magic. Magic Online is quite low. Like, my win rate drops off really fast after I lose focus. So, take that as you do. All right. Have a good night, everyone.